What is going on Spartans? That's right, you see it in front of you, Dollar Tree packs once again. If you remember last time when I opened up Forbidden Light Dollar Tree uh, Dollar Packs, I did not get a single good card. I don't even think I got a reverse foil card, not a, like a reverse foil common, uncommon, hollow, or yeah, reverse rare. No, no, didn't get a single thing and I was pretty upset and it kind of deterred me away from buying Dollar Tree packs for a little while, but then I thought of, you know, it's it's the cheapest way to go if you want to get Pokemon cards. So I figured, all right, let me give it another shot. Let me grab another random 10 booster packs at the Dollar Tree and, and hope that this time around I get at least a couple of rares. I mean, I obviously would love a full art or a secret rare or something like that, but I, I just want to get at least a couple of rares and, you know, one or two reverse foils in there. Um, when I go to the Dollar Tree, I don't just, like, pick up the top ten because, like, I feel like pe maybe people, I don't know, people weigh them. I don't know. That's a thing. Ever ever since I got, like, widespread news, like, pu like, people started realizing, oh, no, people are weighing packs, like, you know, leaving all the bad stuff behind. I, I just don't. I don't like getting single packs usually. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I do quite a bit. It's a bad it's a bad habit. I have like that impulse buy. It's like, oh, I just gotta buy one booster pack. It's only like four bucks. And, but sometimes I get some really good stuff out of it. So when I go to Dollar Tree, like I just put my hand in the box and just get, grab like the, the 10 that's like right there in the back in the middle. And, and I'm hoping, I'm thinking, okay, no one's tampering with those. No one's going to reach that far back. But we shall see. We got 10 booster packs here. Um, I don't know if I did an order with the pack art, but I think I am just going to go ahead and just do least favorite to favorite pack art. All right. So here we go. Oh, man, I can't even get this open. Already off with a Litleo. Uh, there's that promo little thing they got. All right, so Grass Energy. Yes, best start ever. Obviously, that Litleo and a Furfro. Okay, so nothing in that pack. Uh, let's go ahead and open up some Naganadel pack art. Okay. Off to the side there, one to the front. Let's see if I grab anything good here. A Zygarde, a Finnegan, which is one of my favorite arts from uh, Forbidden Light, and a Heatran. Okay, so at least we got one rare. I think that's mission accomplished. We're good. Case closed. Let's take it home, boys. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I just, I was so upset last time I bought these packs that. Come on, even for my Ultra Prism, I at least pulled a full art out of my very first pack. Forbidden Light couldn't give me anything. Binacle and an Slash, another rare card. Okay, all right, I'm taking it. That's two rares. Two rares is better than anything I think we pulled from the last time we opened Forbidden Light uh, single packs. Okay, one to the front. Lightning, Where, what's with the deal with the, all these energies, jeez. Execute and a Scatterbug. Okay. On uh, again. again. Off to the side there. One to the front. Psychic Energy. Okay, really? Did I pick all the packs of energies in them? Jeez. Honage and a Helioptile. Oops. Sorry, stacking my cards in the wrong spot. All right, so we've already gone through half of them, only two rares. Not bad, not bad for Dollar Tree packs, not bad at all. All right, let's go with obviously the Nultra Necrozmas, and we'll leave the Greninjas for last, of course, because the Ninja is my favorite. One to the front. All right, let's see, Crasher Wake, Sad Little Rock Ruff, and another rare, awesome, Torterra. Okay, so this is not too bad. I'm not getting any reverse foils. I'm not getting any hollow, uh, yeah, hollow rares. Uh, but I am still getting rare cards nonetheless. So not not a bad uh, set of packs. Go Goat, Execute, and another Heatran. All right, Ultra Necrozma, last one of the Ultra Necrozmas. I wonder if these are candies be weighed? I don't know if that's, a, if that's really a thing, if you can actually weigh these packs. I'm sure, well, maybe you can't, hold on. Uh, let's, let's, let's think about this. Tyrant, 
Croagunk, and a Froki. Because uh, they have like these, and some of them come with like white on both sides, one of them, some of them come with like red, but that last pack had red, oh, so that might make up for the rare? Huh, interesting. I wonder if anyone's done that yet, if anyone's kind of done like a little experiment of some kind. Hmm, maybe I should do that in another video. See, so I would assume then I would not get any rares out of this pack. Let's see. Uh, Dewblade, Snover, oops, and a Skrelp. Okay, so far the, the theory stays true. Because I don't know, I haven't really looked that up. I haven't really noticed anyone say something about that. If like if you get the, the cards with the red on them, that means you won't get a rare. See, there's another one right here. One to the front. Uh, Diggersby. Binacle and an Alolan Marowak. Okay, so that just got debunked really fast because we got the red card out of that pack and we got a rare out of it. So I'm not sure there's like a pattern that they follow uh, with that, but I mean, might be another, might be worth looking into though, just in case. So looking at all the cards that we got, uh, not too shabby. It was definitely better than, uh, than our last Forbidden Light purchase that we did at Dollar Tree. Um, but definitely just slightly disappointing, uh, only because I would have liked a hollow rare at the very least, if not an ultra rare card. So those were all the commons and uncommons I collected. And the rares, not too bad. There's the Aegislash, Heatran, two Heatrans actually, we'll see in a second, Torterra. See, there's the other Heatran and the Alolan Marowak. So, not too bad. Um, overall, I would say this was kind of worth the 10 bucks. Uh, I don't know how you guys are faring with your Dollar Tree packs. Uh, I had only beginner's luck when I pulled that full art Duskmane Necrozma out of there, but I haven't really pulled anything too exciting since. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to go back for Dollar Tree packs, maybe when Celestial Storm comes out. Uh, but, yeah, I think I'm going to stray away from them for just a little bit, unless I found, like, five dollars on the street and i'm like yeah i'm just gonna turn this into pokemon packs you don't know who knows who knows all right so thank you guys for watching uh please like subscribe comment do what you gotta do i'll see you on the next video